Hello everyone, welcome back to another Wave Preview. This is the 2023 Wave 1. If you heard the scratching, that's my cat running around, so I apologize. But, oh goodness, where do we where do we start, boys? Uh, PTC Mold Wave, once again, we've been getting a lot of these recently, and it's not okay. So, uh, I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, if you don't like it, don't buy it. You know what, I don't care. That's I've stopped buying it. I've only bought like bought a couple, and I can actually be like, well, you know, I have stopped buying them because there's a lot of them that I would like to have, but I just don't want them because they just don't look good. And they're, when it's a PTC, everybody pretty much single handedly agrees that there's no value. Like they won't really get rare. People won't really buy the PTCs for like a higher price if they happen to get rare by any chance because like nobody wants that type of quality like there's plenty of cars in here that i would absolutely be getting but i just don't want them because in plain and simple just not really worth getting from what the quality that you're getting and you know whatever it just it's not worth it lionel is you know clearly losing a lot of business from stuff like this and it sucks because i just again i wish they could do a little better, but, you know, maybe they're not going to. I don't know if they're going to switch to PTC completely. Uh, if you don't know what PTC is, I've got a video on the difference between the EL mold, which is what we normally get, versus what we're getting now. Uh, so, if you want to go check that out, I'll put a link in the description if I can remember. It's just, it's crap. It's pretty bad. So, we're going to go ahead and start this off right here. First up, we have the Brad Keselowski 2022 Kohler Salutes paint scheme. Now, this is what it looks in the package, and I'm going to throw up a picture here of what it looks out of the package. Now, I have to give credit to OBB. I don't think he owns the picture of the car like out of the package, but this is where I got those pictures from. So I'm going to credit him nonetheless, because that's really the only person I know who to give credit to. I'm sure he's credited, you know, whoever he got it from, but I got it from him. So, uh, yeah, OBB, fantastic person, you know, another amazing YouTuber that does kind of the same thing I do. And, you know, along with a lot of people that do the same thing. So I'm just going to use those pictures because I don't know if he made them himself. I don't know if he owns the picture by any means, but just to be safe, I want to credit him just in case. Now, here is the picture of the car out of the box, out of the package uh, from the card back. So, I mean, as you can tell... There is no 164 for this one yet. I actually think that one just got canceled, so it has now become an exclusive. But the top one is the 124, and that's kind of what you're getting with the 164 if it was Gold Series and not Authentics. Uh, but, of course, it wouldn't be the exact same. But, for example, like, you won't get the Chrome decal. Now, we've discussed that before. That was pretty much a black and white, like, topic of... The Authentics will not have the reflective decals, but the Gold Series will when it comes to, like, the numbers and stuff. So, another thing is, with these PTC cars, it's not just, like, the quality's bad or the tires look fat or whatever. It's just everything's wrong. From the color to the pattern sometimes, the decals are off. You can see them overlapping. Uh, again, the tires are really fat looking. The Goodyear like text isn't even like bright. It's a really dim. It almost looks like a race used tire. It just looks really dim, and it just doesn't look good. And then of course you got like I think this is supposed to be more of a maybe a matte finish. I'm not too sure. The 164 looks like a matte finish, but the 124 looks a little more glossy, so I can't really base it off of that. But either way, the colors are wrong. Everything just looks bad. Now, there's some cars on here, or I believe, some of the placement is actually different uh, in terms of, like, the decal. So, I'll see if I can talk about that here in a little bit. But this one here, they, they just all go to crap. Like, they're not good at all. And people, you know, again, like I said in the beginning, they say, oh, if you don't like it, stop buying it. I have. I have stopped buying them for, you know, the most part. And I'm going to uh, to continue to rant about them because I stopped buying them, therefore... I somehow just now have the right to talk about them. Uh, but yeah, so it just looks pretty crappy. I mean, it's 
not good. The decals are okay, but some of them are just like, again, they're like off. Sometimes the front end don't match. Like the Camaros for the PTCs don't match at all. Like you'll see in this video here, like it's just the, like the headlights don't line up. A bunch of stuff with the Camaros that are super wrong, but I mean, the molds themselves aren't that bad, but it's how it's produced that makes it look so terrible. So that's kind of what we got going on for Brad Keselowski. Pretty sure this one's this one is an exclusive too. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that it is. Now we're comparing this to the actual race car uh, because there is no 164 or 124 made just yet. It may have been canceled in all scales. I'm not too sure. So there's a package, and then here is the picture of what we're actually comparing it to. The white is fine, but it's just the decals, they don't look that bad on this car, and like in all honesty, but again, those tires make it look really fat, and if you look at the A-post, it's like chopped into three different pieces. You got the bottom part, the midsection, and then the top part, and you can see where it overlaps, and it just, it's not as bad, but it definitely doesn't look really good either. However, it is on a PTC, I'm still glad that we got this car produced, because it's Gilliland. I mean, we don't really get a lot of Gill uh, Gilliland diecast. We got like one or two, maybe. No, I don't know if we got one for sure. Uh, but I like this paint scheme. Like the paint scheme isn't amazing, but it's A and W. I don't think we've ever had a root beer car, but I am a huge root beer fan. I like root beer. I like a lot. Uh, a and W probably topped here. So it's cool to have a root beer car get released. It just sucks that it had to be done in this way. I don't know if it's an exclusive. I want to say that it is just because it's Gilliland and, you know, the paint scheme isn't, like, a fan favorite. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that it is an exclusive, but I'm not too sure. I know we got some Chase Elliott fans that are going to be upset at this one. Oh, also, something else about the PTC molds. Nine times out of ten, the wheels do not match the what the wheels are supposed to be there. For example, take a look at this. This is the Salutes car. Now, I, I'm going to go back to the Brad car real quick. I don't know if it was supposed to have the Salutes banner or tires because that was a Salutes car and so was this one. This one was has like the Coke 600 stuff on it. So I don't know if Brad's was the same way or if they messed up on that. I'm not too sure, uh, but I'm sure I'll go back and look at it later. But back to the actual car. Here is it in the package, of course, how Lionel uh, like kind of releases it I guess and then here's a picture of the actual car in 164 scale now that's the top of that picture is EL that is the EL scheme or not scheme but the mold and then on the bottom is the PTC mold which everybody hates so a few differences I can tell from here the red super off again I'm telling you these colors are off pretty bad the blue on the top is a lot more noticeable and more like bright i guess and on the bottom it's a little more dark same thing with the napa logo more of a dark blue uh the uh not the yellow i'm sorry the red on the bottom is a lot darker than the red on the top which is the more accurate scheme and uh, i just uh, it's not good i mean it's not then again the wheels if you look at the wheels no salutes wheels just looks like crap and then the front end, here's what I'm talking about. If you take a close look at the front ends for both of these cars here, you can notice that the Camaros are pretty crap. Like, they just, they're not good. I mean, if you look at the bottom one, you can see the decals aren't the same, and they don't fit the front end pretty good. So on the bottom, uh, they're also more noticeable too. They're a lot more, like, dim and hard to notice on the bottom. Even with that Sunoco logo, if you look at the Sunoco logo down on the corner, like front end of the car, it's noticeable on the top one and on the bottom one. You can barely see it because that blue blends in and it just, it looks bad. So these are a lot of the, a lot of the reasons why people really hate this mold because it throws off the colors, throws off the decals. A lot of stuff doesn't line up 90% of the time. Colors are wrong. Tires are wrong. Pretty much everything is wrong. Austin Dillon, this is the Salutes car as well. Uh, again, back to the Brad Keselowski. Uh, the Salutes car did not have the Coke 600 stuff on it, uh, but this one does. Well, it's supposed to. Uh, for the PTC, of course, the Wave, it just it don't have it. So here's the picture we're going to be looking at. This is the number three, of course, Dillon's car. 
and the top one we don't have a 164 or a 124 i'm pretty sure the 164 just got canceled a little bit ago uh so we are not getting the 164 so look at the red like the red is a lot just garbage compared to the first one and look at the nose here's a good example of the nose you can see the camaro headlights are just not lined up at all you can see on the bottom the star on the top car is more towards that front wheel well and if you look at the stars on the bottom and on the, on the actual die cast they're more far away so some of these decals don't even are they're not even sitting in the right spot the blue is brighter on the track car and it's just a lot darker on the actual uh you know race car down the bottom for the die cast the wheels aren't there. I mean, they are, but they're not what they're supposed to be. Again, it's just kind of crap. I mean, it's an exclusive too, I'm pretty sure. So uh, just another reason why these PTC molds are also just hated on so much because they just turn out like this. And some of them turn out okay, but the Camaros pretty much always turn out garbage. The first 2023 car of the 2023 Wave, uh, Chris Busher. This is the fifth third bank paint scheme. And, I mean, as, as terms of, like, decals, they don't look that bad. You can tell on the headlight where it's supposed to be. It's a little bit off. But, I mean, other than that, it's not terrible. The Sonoko logo on the bottom is actually uh, kind of crap. So, here is the actual picture we're going to reference to. Top one is a gold series. Bottom one is, is, of course, the Authentics. And you can just see how big of a difference there really is. Like, the green is a lot brighter on the top. The blue is a lot brighter on the top. You can see the little squares in the side of the car, but you can barely see it on the PTC edition. And it just, again, it don't look as bad or as good as it's supposed to. The white on this car is a little more dark, which I mean, isn't a huge deal, but still, you know, it's a little, a little off. And again, like you can't hardly even tell like any type of overlapping on the gold series, which would be the top car. But on the bottom, I can see on that A post at the very top for the roof. I can see where that lines up and on the bottom if you look at the more like if you look at the white on the bottom it's hard to see here but if you have one in your hand and you look at the white some of it's a little brighter and I actually believe that's where some of the decals overlap and make it more of a white look so it's kind of got some like spotty whiteness to it simply because it just overlaps if I look at this correctly it looks like the hood I'm going to try to circle it if I can. Like this right here, the hood line is brighter because it overlaps and it kind of makes it more white. So it's just spotty with how the decals overlap and they just they look bad. So again, not a fan of this die cast, therefore I won't be picking it up either. Alex Bowman, 2022 Ally Salutes. Again, this is the Coke 600 paint scheme. Uh, man, terrible, just bad, bad. So let's pull up the actual comparison picture here. Look at the blue difference on this car. The top one is accurate, just, you know, throwing that out there. And then the bottom one, it's more of like a purple than it is a blue, like maybe like a dark blue, kind of almost purplish, but dude, it's, it's terrible. Like, I'm very, very glad that bowman's car was actually made in the 164 scale for the gold series and look the splitter is black on the top one and it's not black on the bottom it's just all blue so yeah really rough again we're missing the salutes tires and just all kinds of bad so yeah that's fun uh, i will be picking it up simply because it's a bowman die cast even if i don't like it i'm a bowman enthusiast so you know i gotta get every die cast that i can and if you look on the hood or not even the hood, like the entire front part of this car, it just looks bad. You can see that dark line, that like that dark blue line, that's just where the decals overlap. And then if you look at the top one, there's no overlapping at all, and it doesn't show. So, ah, man, this again, this is why people absolutely hate the PTCs. They're just terrible. Now, if you look at the stars on the bottom of the car, uh, the gray ones, top one's light gray, bottom one's dark gray, so that's also a, a pretty big difference. Another big difference is the red the red on the top car is a lot brighter than the one on the bottom. So the colors are like 100% always off for the PTCs. So they absolutely massacred my boy on this car. 
Now this one here looks so much worse compared to the Bowman one. The Bowman one looks decent compared to this one. They may have massacred my boy, but they absolutely slaughtered, obliterated, quartered, degloved everything for Blaney. Like, this car looks like hot garbage. Like, it is bad. Like, the it's not even the colors are off. They're different colors. Like, there's not a slight tone difference. The entire car is wrong just completely. So, this is also a salutes, somewhat a salutes paint scheme. It's not a salutes, but it was ran in the Coke 600. Uh, so, this is the body armor edge paint scheme. Oof, this is bad, dude. First of all, the rims on the top car, I'm going to show you here, top car are gray. They're supposed to be. If you notice on the bottom, they're not gray. They're still black. So that's another, you know, mistake and stuff that these freaking cars have. It's not, not fun. Uh, again, we're missing the Salutes tires on this one. Uh, look at, okay, so just take a second with me. Look at the colors. The base color of the top car is a day glow, really bright yellow. The yellow on the car underneath, which is the PTC, you know, the wave car, is just yellow. No day glow, no nothing, just yellow. The hot pink on the car on the top is accurate, obviously, but on the bottom, it's freaking purple. Oh, I don't, or like a dark pink, or like a purplish. I don't get that. Looks pretty bad, right? The lime green on the front part of this car, on the front left, accurate, right? On the bottom, it's dark green. <sighs> what? How? How does that... Oh, God, it's terrible. The splitter on the top car, black. On the bottom car, that purplish, pinkish, dark pink color, it's... It's aggravating. <laughs> so, yeah, Lionel's uh, just rushing to get these out, and is goofing up quite a bit because of that and losing business pretty bad because i mean dude i'd love to have like this type of car like it would be amazing but at the same time the mold's not terrible but the way the decals are put on this specific mold are very trash martin church jr in the salutes paint schemes for bass pro shops uh you know decent paint scheme but it's on the PTC, you know, we got to rant about that. So, I also noticed just something real quick. So, if we look at the comparison picture, this is the die cast versus, well, the Gold Series versus the Authentics. Of course, Gold Series being the top one. Again, we are missing the Salutes die cast, or like, not die cast, but the Salutes die cast tires. And something I just noticed, look at the logo on the EL mold versus the PTC. Perfect on the EL, right? Top one is top tier. Perfect. The bottom one, that logo is entirely way too small. Way too small. And then what is going on with the front end? Look at this goofy little piece right here. Goofy. Completely goofy. There's shading there for whatever reason. Don't know how that happened. It just looks like garbage. It looks bad. Now again, the blue is off. The red is way off. Uh, of course, the number's off because of the red. It looks like there's some more, like, detail down on the bottom side skirt of the top one. And it doesn't really seem to be present in the bottom one, so I'm not really too sure what's going on there. But yeah, this one's just really goofy. <laughs> I hate this one. I feel bad for OBB because his boy Blaney and Truex got slaughtered in this wave. So, yeah, uh, sorry about that, bud. Welcome to the party of... Having your favorite driver's paint schemes destroyed in waves, which we are already used to. So, oh my goodness, this not fun. So, what else is on here? There's no decal. Oh yeah, there is. It's just hard to tell. I was going to say, there's no decal for the exhaust coming out of the bottom on the skirt, which is not true. I take back my word. Barely, just barely you can see that exhaust. But it's there. But it's just hard to see. So, actually I think... It looks like the decal on the very back quarter panel is not there. Like, if you look at the very bottom, it's got, like, that little gray patch. I don't see it present. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, it's just off. All right, so the decals are still off on this car either way. Oh, my goodness gracious. And just not, not fun times, is it? Not good at all. So, oh, we got two more cars to go through, and hopefully we'll kind of be 
relieved from such an eyesore. Kevin Harvick, the closer, could not close on a good-looking diecast for the PTC mold, but this one's actually not that bad compared to the other ones. For this one, really, it's just the red is off, and of course the tires are really fat and goofy looking too, but in all honesty, it's just that the red's off. Now, if it had the accurate color red, it would not be that bad, uh, but here's the comparison. This is the Harvick, of course, on the top, which is the EL in diecast form, and the bottom one is actually sadly what we get for the waves so yeah you can tell it's just the red is mainly the big part so i'm not going to complain about this one too much except for the red is just way way completely off so speaking of the red here is the liquid color which is the harvick car tell me how or why the liquid color is more accurate to the actual car than the actual car is to the actual race car I don't know, but the red doesn't look too bad. Actually, uh, if this was like had the normal EL tires, it would look fantastic as a liquid color. But, I mean, the tires kind of run it down a little bit. But still, that red looks pretty darn good. So the Harvick is probably the most bearable one out of this entire wave. But, I mean, it's not bad. So I'm just kind of sitting back, waiting to see if they ever change back from PTC to EL. I hope they do. Something tells me they won't for the next couple of waves at least. But I guess we'll just have to see. So with that being said, for my final opinion, the paint schemes involved in the wave are good. Give it about a 7.5, somewhere around there. But the wave itself, just because of it you know, being PTC, all the colors are off, all that stuff, Gotta throw it down to a three, maybe a two, but I don't feel that harsh. But it's just bad. I mean, it's a bad... The only thing that's holding it up is the paint schemes in themselves. But, again, the way they were made just looks pretty garbage. So, yeah, gotta give this one a three out of ten. Not good. I guess Lionel just kind of rushing for whatever reason. Don't know why, but... I mean, we are like four or five months into 2023, so I kind of understand. But either way... I just, I will hope they bring back the EL mold pretty quick. Uh, until then, I guess we have to keep dealing with these absolute eyesores. So, uh, that's my opinion on this entire wave. Uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? You know, you can tell me in the comments below, because I think everybody agrees when they say this wave is pretty crap because of the PTC. Now, there's people that defend the PTC, and I can understand why, because they're like, oh, it's just a toy car, just a kid's toy, whatever. I get that, but at the same time, it sucks seeing it go down in quality after being a collector for so many years. So, and it, like with it being exclusive, some of them, it makes it a little worse. But that being said, uh, I guess that's all I got to talk about this wave. I did not talk about the previous wave, but I guess there's not really going back now unless I really want to, and I kind of don't want to. So we'll just kind of bypass it for now. But either way, that'll be all. So thank you all so much for listening to me rant about this stupid wave uh but yeah i'll see you all in the next video